Hey guys, have you ever wanted to update a data card field with the file name without the extension? But you wanted to do it whenever the files got imported to PDM, but now they're already in there. So how do you do that? Today's Q-tip is for you. Right now we've got a field on our data card that says file name, and it should be the file name without the extension. But you notice that none of our data has that in there. If you look at our card editor, it's set to text value. So let's go ahead and set that to special value and then go ahead and set it to file name without extension. This file name variable is mapped to a custom property called file name and set to, the, to govern the extensions of drawing, assembly, and part. Okay, cool, we got that set. And then we've made a change here to our data card. Let's go ahead and save that out. Whenever we've got it set up so the file name is gonna pull the file name without extension, that gets evaluated when the files are imported into PDM not whenever they're checked out and then checked back in. So it gets evaluated you know, at the start. But if you already have files in there, we can do something else for that called dispatch. So we've got a quick dispatch here. It's got, you can see it's very short. Now this will require that the files that you're gonna use this against are checked out. Otherwise it's gonna throw an error. So we're gonna do a, a basically a, a block, a loop, so that uh, for all documents, we'll start here and then in for all documents. And then we're gonna set a data card variable here. But first, there's some behind the scenes work that has to be done. So if we take a look at variables, then we've got a lot of stuff going on back inside of here so that we can pull out the extension, you know, the file extension, and then get the dot position, and then actually get the file name without the text. All right, so we click OK here, and then we take a look here, and we're gonna set the destination card variable to file name, and then we're gonna update it with the file without extension selected file or folder, all right? So that's all good there. And then just a short little message box just to let you know, give you some feedback whenever it's done. Too bad Dispatch doesn't have a progress bar so it can tell you how far along it is, but I digress. Click OK, click OK. Once you compile a Dispatch script, then the next time that you right click in the vault, it's going to have to basically recompile and download to your local cache. So then if I were to right click on these files that I have selected, again, they are already checked out, they don't have the file name updated. It's going to take it just a moment to push that new dispatch down from the server to my local machine so that my right-click menu reflects the new changes. And then I go down to update file name variable with file name. And then we wait for it to update in the background. And then we see the message box done. This lets us know that the files have been updated according to what we set it to. Let's go see what it did. Click done. Click away, let's select one of the files. In the file name box, we now have that whole file name. However, we, we've got a little bit of an extra here. We've got a .sl, which means that we didn't quite pull back far enough on the dispatch. So let's go make sure, because we should be pulling back, uh, should be going backwards here, um, seven characters. Let's go check out and see what we did. There's the culprit. Instead of four, we should go seven. And we go back, we'll do this operation again, right click and then we wait for it to recompile. Select update file name variable with file name. And then we click done. Now let's go check it again. This time our data card should reflect the full file name without the extension. Hopefully today's Q-tip helped out. Believe in the queue.